Hello, hello. I am getting ready to go live in my VIP container, but I wanted to record something for this group as well. I know I haven't been super active in here. Um, I've been serving private clients and wrapping up some stuff in my personal life and working on my healing and my integration. So, I appreciate you guys who are still in the group, even though I've kind of stepped away. Um, it's still been a beautiful thing to see those who are going through videos and are still using the teachings. Sarah Sophia, you need to clean that up now. Okay. So, I wanted to touch base and talk about something that's coming up for me, and I'm also seeing it. Um, in my feed and within my followers and my private clients. So something is, the thing that's coming up is triggers. And um, I'm just gonna put away really quick. She's got out cleaning slime. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this away. It's a very cool kit off Amazon. Um, Magic Spruce Multi-Use Cleaning Gel. It's basically slime, but it's lavender scented. And it came with a bunch of tools to like clean out your car and cracks and things. So, it's cool. Um, <clears throat> actually bought it for my ex for Christmas and then didn't give him anything. So, triggers. When triggers are coming up for us, some of us are quite reactive. And I want to see people get to a position where they're able to, hopefully through meditation, but if you need private mentorship, that's okay. And you can give yourself a about that. to get to the space where you're not reactive about those outer things. When a trigger comes up, and, and please know that you don't have to understand what the trigger is or who it is or any of that, you feel it in your light body. It can present as anxiety, fear, shame. When a trigger comes up, Instead of being reactive and responsive, try to ask yourself a few questions. Take a deep breath, drop into the heart space and say, what emotion is coming up for me? Sophia, I'm recording, Ash. What, what emotion is coming up for me? And how can I change this feeling? Like, what, how can I address this? What do I need to change within me so that I'm not feeling this way? Okay, and I look at triggers as like a growth nugget. Like something that we can kind of keep this, this formula in our spiritual toolbox into where you can pull it out and you can use the model and, and ask myself, you know, what's coming up for me right now? How is this making me feel? Because nine times out of 10, you're gonna really find it's not anything about the other person, it's actually about us. And it is our conditioning and our codes of you know, what we believe. And it's not about getting the other person to understand us. It's about having understanding and moving towards that for ourselves. So, you know, it's a nice little ritual when you catch yourself doing it, when you catch yourself, you know, being triggered or stepping into that storyline and back into that, that place of fear, you know, what's coming up for me? How am I feeling right now? Where is the emotion? Where am I feeling it in my physical body? Okay, and that's where we can start to do body scans and things like that. So it's just something to think about. I'm going to be actually going deeper than that in my um, private container, but 
this is a really good starting point and there's honestly a lot of content out there for free you guys you don't have to struggle you can reach out for support i offer free calls i do have the podcast that is still free um i've got some stuff on youtube but i don't have a ton up there yet and so just like really give yourself some grace but also don't stray from asking the questions and addressing the emotions that are coming up so i hope you guys have a great weekend and um are safe but also make sure that you're continuing to do that inner work